microphone. Hello, 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 hello. Give me high tech right. transition device. <laughs> Here's the snowball. Yeah, okay, good. All right. In which case, oh, where is our actual live? I think we're good. In theory, we start we're streaming, streaming, but I haven't seen it come up on Ooh. YouTube yet. Yeah. Wait for the. Uh, uh, I'm that's 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 I can actually find the stream on the actual page. Uh, for some reason, that's just not playing ball with me today. So it's working. Give me high tech transition oh, device. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Ultra Pro. Um, not sponsored by Ultra Pro, by the way, but if they want to send me some sleeves, feel free to do so. But uh, our Ultra theory, Pro. In theory, we're streaming, but I haven't seen it come up on hmm. YouTube yet. This uh, game contains scenes of explicit violent and gore the and dice. Uh, for some reason, but that's not, not playing ball with me. But not Ultra Pro. It's like working. Yeah, yeah, there was someone uh, in the comments a couple of weeks ago. Who was like um, Ultra Pro, um, nice not sponsored by Ultra Pro, by the way. But if they want to send me some sleeves, feel free to do right. so. But uh, our Ultra how Pro do they, transition. Do they know how I store my minis for this game? This game contains scenes of explicit violence and gore and dice. That upset you. But not, but not Ultra Pro. But not Ultra Pro. This is my story solution. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, there was someone uh, in the comments a couple of weeks ago who was like, I mean, um, foam on sort the bottom, of saying so it made their eyes hurt that I wasn't that, that we were playing with unsleeved right? cards. <laughs> All right, okay. How I little do they do they know how I fair, store my minis for this game? To be fair, I'm not planning on going to show some of these, so they're not exactly going to get shaken up. This is my story solution. It's only if. Well, I mean, I put foam you know, on the bottom, so the, the I think it's okay. That's the important uh, part, right? I don't have enough for D&D or something. They would bust out a ball. I mean, to be, super, super important part. Yeah. To be fair... I think they'd love it. To be fair, to be with you. I'm not planning on going too yeah, mobile with these, so they're not exactly going to get shaken up in the back of a car or anything. It's only if if you're round character. and we've got the the role playing gang round and we uh, don't have enough for D&D D or something, they bust out a board game. Yeah, it'd be good to play the uh, margin of those, though. I think they'd love <laughs> it, much. to be honest with you. <laughs> the, uh, the stuff where, not quite uh, much. So, um, the good to, news is, is obviously we've uh, got the tech, I'd have to arm wrestle Gav uh, for uh, Leon S. Kennedy, because I don't think he'd be able to play any other character. This, the reason why we've been offline so long is, I thought my camera Whereas I feel like I'm maybe slightly more versatile. And then I thought that my cam link had blown up. Marginally. So I ordered a new camera. Not by much. And the camera, for some reason, just doesn't really want to play. Not by much. Myself. So, um, the good um, news is, is obviously we've uh, got um, the tech. Was obviously like, I'm going to say tech sort of solution in place. Actually, what I've had to do, so we, we do this, the reason why we've gone offline so long is, um, I thought my camera had blown I up. I could not get it to work. And then I thought money, that my cam link well, had actually, blown no, up. I couldn't get it work, so I ordered a new camera, and the camera, for some reason, just doesn't really want to play with my setup. But that was like another um, quid, Which is like, kind of annoying. I'm going to be nearly five um, quid. Because it was obviously like, it was a couple hundred quid for like so a new GoPro. I went back to my old so camera. So we do all this on a, on a GoPro that. camera. And that seems um, to be working just fine. So and I could not get it to work for love nor money. And I thought, so well, this, actually, no, I couldn't get it work for working for love. I assume if I threw money before, at it and, we'll and replaced my cam link scenario, with a more updated uh, version. A bit of a, bit of but that was like another 200 sure quid. I'm like, oh, bloody hell, I'm going to be nearly 500 uh, quid into the hole on this. So I went back to my old camera and I was poking around with that. And that seems to be working just fine. So we're kind of on the old tech. So this week will probably be a little bit shorter than the before we'll, we'll just do this do scenario cool stuff um, just as a bit of a bit of a test to make sure that all the tech works properly um, but we can have a quick catch up as to what we've been doing um, since since we spoke to everyone last because well you've been busy uh, I've painted a few minis um, so we can do a little sneaky look at those um, if we want to uh, where do you want to start do you want to look at minis or do you want to talk about cool stuff that Let's look at doing. miniatures, um, because I'm currently trying to find uh, the actual dashboard for that so I can actually access the comments it. for some reason. Uh, YouTube is not playing ball with me. Today. Oh, well, I know what it voices is. Voices so. keep repeating that. Say something? Sorry. Yep, okay. All right, Thank Alex, um, in about 20 or 30 seconds, I'm sure you're going to tell us that this has solved it because for some reason Camlink was deciding to pick up on my mic twice. Oh. But hopefully we fixed Makes it. Sense. If not, we'll have to start all over again. We won't start all over again. We'll just fix it in post. Yeah. <laughs> I love I love the fix it in post solution. Yeah, right. Uh, again, just wait till Ali, uh, someone confirms that we're not doubling down on stuff. Yes, yeah, no. solved, solved. Hooray! Thank you, Alex. Fantastic. Awesome. You're the best. Now, if I can, I could find the actual comment section of what we're doing. Um, I could actually talk. To, I could actually see what's going on. Yeah. Well, you need to go to the live control room. 
on the channel. Yeah, I'm on, I'm on the dash. I can't see it. I'm on the dashboard. Oh, I don't. I don't know what you're no. looking at. Well, let's look. Let's look at some minis first. Um, yeah, give me a bit of time to see what I can find. You can fiddle about with your stuff. And so, uh, G Mutant, uh, I put uh, a lick of paint on and, and finished him off. So that was uh, nothing more complex than uh, a couple of washes with the uh, the wonderful um, Citadel contrast paints and uh, a little bit of judicious dry brushing. So he's uh, he's actually come out quite nice. To be honest, I'm quite pleased with him. There's a hell of a lot of detail in that mini, mm. uh, as you can see from the old veins on the eyeball. Um, so I've done him. Who else have I done? I've done a couple of uh, spiders um, because they are coming up soon, aren't they? As we press mm. on, so a couple of big. Uh, uh, see them in the next scenario onwards. In fact, next scenario. Well, we might be playing the alligator next. Speaking of which, but it's still in the sewers. Ah. Oh, I see. I see what you did there. It's yeah, beautiful. you see what I did there. So I've done the alligator, and I'm really happy with how he's come out. If I'm honest with you, uh, I feel like I've got like really nice tone tonal uh, shift across all of the different greens and everything. And that's one of the things with like the big minis is um, is if you just try and paint them a flat color, then you're going to end up they're going to end up looking really unnatural. So mm. I kind of airbrushed a few layers on. Um, Onto this, so uh, like a nice brown, uh, browny green on the top, uh, and then a yellowy green down the sides, and uh, just a, almost a, a, a pure white on the bottom. And then I dry brushed and pulled it all together with a um, with a couple of kind of greeny brown, like probably almost a glaze, not necessarily a wash. But he came out wicked. I love the um, I love the purple sort of magenta on the tongue and the uh, the inner mouth. It looks really really good. Yeah, yeah. Um, just to go, just go away from all that uh, green stuff. But um, yeah, no, I, I really like all of that kind of. That I always find that's quite a difficult one to actually make look right. You not if you're not careful, which looks too far too vibrant, far too red for yes. uh, for that sort of stuff. Yeah, uh, red. Really red um, I steered away from red for that reason because I think red mm. can make it look quite uh, quite cartoony. It always reminds me when you see people doing um, like flat red in especially around the mouth it always reminds me of when bugs bunny puts lipstick on and suddenly becomes mm. like really attractive um <laughs> just makes me like think of that so that was the alligator he's coming up and then obviously we've got um uh in authentic color scheme uh, a couple of uh, plants again ridiculous amount of detail in these minis mm. like it's it's surprising because i kind of sign all of these off um on renders and obviously on a render you can kind of see all the detail um but then when you actually get the mini i think sometimes it's easy to forget how much detail's in there until you actually put a bit of uh put a bit of paint on them and that boringly is because of the uh translucent property of plastic did you know about that have i told you about that before uh i did indeed know uh it's more of an issue normally when you actually have, have things like um weapons and that sort of stuff yeah yeah so for those who, who aren't aware, if um, if you have a um, a sharp edge, um, and but the material is, in fact, it's probably easier for me to draw this. Um, let me grab a little bit of this and a pencil. Where's a pencil? Got my awesome Sea of Thieves pencil. So if you've got a um, uh, if you've got a sharp edge, but it's in a translucent material, the thinner the material is, um, the more translucent it becomes. What in actual fact happens is that edge gets rubbed off just because that's see-through and your eye really only sees the rounded version, which is why it looks soft. But the minute you spray it uh, and stop it being translucent, the detail all pops out again. So it's just a trick of the eyes really and the material. Let's let Tedward down. I'm gonna go and grab a quick drink. I've realised I've left my drink in the kitchen. You can perhaps tell Entertain. everyone uh, what you've been up to, and I'll come and catch you up in about thirty seconds. Uh, well, this is the part where I tell you guys all about the uh, fun I've been having working on RE3 uh, since the end of the campaign. Uh, hopefully, the people here are all backers, and uh, if you are, then thank you very, very much for your support. Um, so since the campaign ended, I imagine most of you guys will have seen the uh, the advanced Barry uh, update that we put out. Um, he's pretty cool. Really, really super happy. Um, really, really super happy with that. I've got to thank um, actually some of the people in the chat for the ideas on that one. Actually, uh, we already had this uh, this awesome idea that Barry could kind of take a hit. For example, uh, the same way as advanced Leon can in Resident Evil Two, 
for another character to sort of dive in the way, but really wanted to push that that little bit much further. Uh, so came up came up with an idea where we could um, almost give Barry Barry's player an option. So if if a character goes down if a character dies, then Barry can basically either sacrifice you know himself and kind of just you know, if Barry gets taken out and kind of you know have that ending that he always wants to, where he sort of you know another two shots of the Magnum before he finally croaks. Or alternatively, you can kind of dash off to go save another character, or just be invincible and choose an FA to spray on yourself um, if that's what you've got. So, um, so that's cool. Uh, also been working on Advanced Tyrell, uh, so you're going to be reading about him in not too long. Uh, and then some of the new modes that we unlocked, um, because contrary to popular belief, as we went through the Kickstarter, we started unlocking lots and lots of stuff and uh, got the fun of having to work out on the fly some new modes and things. So um, knife-only mode, I think, is going to be super, super fun. Uh, really looking forward to seeing uh, how people interact with that one. Um, and I'm really pleased with how the epilogue cards came out. Really, really, really pleased about the epilogue cards came out. So um, I haven't talked to you about that one too much yet, Matt. No, I won't drop this one in the. Uh, I won't drop this now, but I think genuinely we've got something really special coming up with that. So that's going to be cool. So I think everyone's going to really get a kick out of it. Yeah, I'm looking forward to catching up with you because we've been a funny couple of weeks actually, isn't it? I mean, mm-hmm. it's not like we've gone anywhere or been particularly busier or, or less busy than normal, but. Um... I don't know about you, but I just don't feel as if the last two weeks have been anywhere close to normal. Um, I think for me, I've kind of so it's quite it's quite entertaining for me. I I sort of sat there after the RE three campaign, and obviously that's a fifteen day stint of working pretty much twenty four seven, occasionally sleeping when possible, and um, went okay, great, I'll have like a morning off, and uh, now I'll kind of work out the few bits and pieces I need to change, and considering that. Going into the RE3 campaign, you know, at that point, I was fairly happy with the rules. You know, kind of, yep, this is ready to go. You know, we have, to, you know, we could pretty much make this now. I'm good. I kind of finished the campaign. Go right. I need to make a list of the things I would like to change following feedback or having thought about it a bit or anything else. And go over a list that was 18 points long. Right. So, um, and so that's what I've been working on. <laughs> nice, nice. Yeah, super busy. Anything else of any interest that we would need to catch people up, or should we start playing? Uh, well, obviously, we had the um, the beginning of the end. Uh, we talked a little bit about that um, in the comments. Um, I won't necessarily recap here because it's quite a long, uh, like quite a long one. But please do stop by the Kickstarter campaign. I'm going to be going in there every single Friday um, just to chat to everybody, hang out, answer any questions that come up, that sort of stuff. Um, so the the beginning of the end stuff is in there. Um, also, uh, we're going to be doing updates for Resident Evil probably fortnightly. Uh, Re three this is. Um, so we should start having you know regular contents, regular updates and stuff. Just because the campaign's over, we're still going to be talking to everybody, um, and we'll still be going from there. So, cool. All right. I think that's more that's it, really. Happy days. Right. Uh, let's have a quick flip through the questions. Da-da-da-da-da. One green man. So that's why primer makes immediately a difference in quality. Yes, absolutely. In fact, if you do nothing at all other than just spray your minis uh, an appropriate color, you can buy it from any car body shop so for example here in the uk halfords uh, i don't really know what it is over in the states or mainland uh, europe but uh you can just spray them and it'll make all the difference um and if you want to go one step further spray them and then give them a little wash with um uh with some uh bad ad brown um or agrax earth shade or whatever the heck it's called nowadays i don't know games workshop keep changing it um do, 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 do. is there an rpd entrance tile at all in resident Th- evil 3 showing uh, there's not an RPD uh, entrance tile in uh, Resident Evil 3. Um, I think we have, off the top of my head, we have one in RP in Resident Evil 2. I'm actually going to have to have a look through the tiles now. It's ages since I looked at those tiles. One I swear those. there was one in. I've, I remember looking at the art for it. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I know at some point it's whoever it ends up on the, uh, cutting on for some reason. But anyway, I know that certainly we've got the RPD uh, main hall in uh, Resident Evil 3. We've also got a few other rooms that people will recognize from the RPD building. Um, I don't think we've got any for that. My box says, other than suspicious noises. Suspicious noises. What have we got? Maybe not, actually. Maybe not. I was thinking of the 4x4 I think we used for the, uh, the demo. That's where you, um, you fought Birkin. No, we had that for the demo, the um, demo. if you remember. Oh, and then yeah, we changed okay. up the art style. So no, uh, no RPD entrance tile, I'm afraid. Oh, okay. Well, there's there's something that we can have a look at in the future. 
yeah, I'm, I'm fairly sure on that one. Um, looks like we've got, uh, yeah, the RPG main hall does look amazing. I agree, one green man. Um, I think so much of the artwork for the RE3 tiles is just smashed out of the park. It's amazing. Really, really big fan of it. It looks awesome. Um, I can't wait to show you uh, some more of it as we go forward. Um, any news on Hunterbox? Uh, Hunterbox will be coming to the Pledge Manager, as we all know. Um, I know at the moment I'm waiting for my colleagues in production to tell me what the price of it will be. Uh, this is literally just speculation, uh, no subtle hints or anything here. I imagine it will probably be about roughly the same sort of cost as what the uh, we had two giant spiders and two ivies, I believe, in one of the other ones. I think we that's did. Monster Box 2. Yep. Um, and it will probably roughly be the same price as that, I imagine. About that sort of price. Yeah. yeah. Fair enough. That seems well, it's, right. the same, it's the same thing. It's four models, um, and they're very much similar creatures, to be honest. So. Yeah, yeah, we try and be fairly. Uh, we use the same formula for count, calculating price, don't we? So there's yeah. no surprise it'll be similar. So if you can see a similar product in, in amongst our other lineups, then um, it'll probably be a similar sort of price. So yeah, right. Um, I think the dials are pretty much where they should be. I believe um, that you might have reloaded your grenade launcher. Um, well, if I, I've done that, then you need to lose those grenade rounds, my friend. Oh yeah. So yeah, you've popped them already, haven't you? Uh. Sad yep. times. Okay, uh, so we've got first day sprays. You do have some bow gun bolts because um, you've only got two in the gun at the moment. Um, and that's about where we're at. You did have a red and green herb. Uh, we decided that you'd use that. Um, to so, top myself up. So we're all topped up. We're all ready to go. So basically, uh, we're just going to step inside and I think the door's going to slam and the music's going to change, right? Uh, actually, yeah. I mean, equivalent, it's actually the... We could do that way. Um, I mean, normally I'd stand outside in the corridor while you take your turn, but we could for the sake of uh, dramatic effects, since everyone's been waiting for about three weeks for this now. Yeah, let's do uh, that. Actually, one. just put them both in there. So, the big changes to how this works uh, for everybody who may not be familiar with this is while we're on this tile, instead of drawing from the tension deck at the end of our turn, uh, we draw from the boss behavior deck instead. Uh, the idea being that you know, the music is kind of no longer sort of this simmering, sort of eerie sort of sounds. Now we're just full blown opera wailing kind of sound, as everyone who played RE2 will remember. There's no um, more fingernails scratching down panes of glass or uh, no, no, blowing in just, the streets. No, there's just a G mutant which is kind of puking up little uh, lava and coming after us. Waiting on the massive anticlimax as we take it down in two turns. Yeah, we, um, <laughs> we're slightly conscious of that, but uh, like we said at the beginning, so for, um, for those of you just joining us, uh, this is more of a tech test. Uh, make sure we're cool and, and happy and back in the room, and then we're going to be jumping straight back into the full blown game with the alligator next week. Yeah, for those of you who, I mean, this is the easy boss. I mean, if you think about it, it's position in the main game. This is the boss that you fight first. It's really there to teach you the boss mechanics. It shouldn't be too, too taxing, as provided you've sort of uh, been careful with your ammunition. But trust us, the alligator will teach us our lesson very, very quickly next week. <laughs> yeah. So, All right. So I reckon fine. we should press on. Um, if it if it ends up being short, so be it. Uh, but the tech looks good so far. The screen, I'm happy with the quality of the picture. So uh, I think we're all in good shape, really. Little, Let's do it then. Little foobar with the um, with the audio at the beginning, but right. Do you want to lead off? Sure. Okay. Uh, so just quickly remind me so I can write it down because it's not immediately obvious to me. What's my handgun ammunition and my various different dials? Uh, handgun is twelve. Bowgun yep. is two. Grenade launcher yep. is six. Okay. Cool. Uh, right. Okay. So I'm going to step one to the uh, to the right. In which case. Yeah. Uh, and then I think I'm going to. What's the range on the grenade launcher? It's two, I believe, isn't it? I'm going to need to put it closer for that. The grenade launcher is three. Ah, uh, three, perfect. In which case, I'm going to fire grenades at it. So let's do that. Uh, do you want to roll since you've actually got it there? Yeah, sure. Um, Was it three blue dice? Three blue dice. Oh, I did well for you. That's, That's amazing. Two full hits and one partial. Uh, which, looking at the actual weapon itself, should do something in the region of, I believe, five damage? Uh, five damage. This is going to be very anticlimactic if we're going to take it down this quickly. Uh, uh, so that's going to drop five off of its health. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I need to whiff a few rolls to try and uh, yeah, stretch out basically. the tension a little bit. Uh, grenade launcher uh, straight uh, down his gullet. Yeah, that's uh, one, two, in which case. Uh, I'll do a- another one, I think. Another, uh, another roll. Yeah, another grenade like that. Okay, for doom, another grenade like that. Just like that. I've got a feeling there, five might damage. Some, there might be some dodges in this one. Uh, well, they... 
<laughs> well, that's kind of averaged out then, I think, over the course that's of fair. two rolls. Yeah, five over the course of two hours. They're celebrating her success, just like punch a puncher unload into the ceiling. <laughs> uh, okay, all right. So in which case, let me uh I'll sidestep one to the right. In fact, I'm gonna sidestep yeah, one to the right so we don't get jammed together. And then my last one, um I will let's use the handgun. That was your last one, wasn't it? Uh one to there, two shots. Oh yeah, two shots, then one to there, yeah, that's perfect. Okay, cool. Uh so no reaction phase, obviously, because enemies don't uh, bosses don't react. So now time for the boss to make a reaction. All right, so first thing that we're going to have to deal with is acidic bile. It's line of sight, Ugh. so that's you. Yep. Um, dodge, uh, and it's going to do one. Okay, so I need to make a minimum vote uh, dodge at least. That's it. Do you uh, want so to roll, roll? Yeah, yeah, sorry. If you want How to roll, many have you got? got two on the old dodgy dodge. Yep. So two, any available, any available will do. Uh, Good what times. Happens, what happens if you don't? Uh, it will tell you on the thing. So we've actually got it. So it will say on the profile, uh, looks like it's going to be one damage. one damage. Now that little bug symbol uh, means that if there are currently um, Geomagios attached to us, they will bite. Uh, but not to worry, we don't have any just yet. We haven't got any of them yet. I've got not these ready yet. to rock and roll over here for when we need them. Yeah, okay, cool. Uh, that's my turn over. over to you. Okay. Um, I am going to uh, step one to the right uh, for one. Uh, and I think I'm going to... Um, Give it a little bit of uh, handgun. There's a method in my madness. Uh, I'm going to give it three on the hang custom handgun. Oh, look at that. Uh, so um, I can do a push, and because it's the custom handgun, I can combine these two into a hit. That's right. So I'm going to do uh, one point of damage, puts him on 19. Uh, and then I'm going to push him into the corner there. I uh, can't push bosses. Oh, you can't push bosses? Can't Holy push smokes. bosses. All right. Um, I'm going to fire my handgun again and empty it into him. Yeah, I think that makes sense. Because I mean, we're going to get to reload this ammunition anyway, right? Yeah. So. Um, so just to push. Um, so sad, I didn't do anything. Sad in which times. Case. Uh, so that in. was uh, my third action. Um, fourth action. Probably best not to follow me into the same square because the boss does some attacks where it like sweeps and hits like multiple people in the same square. Yeah, I mean, is there any mileage in me going in there yet? Probably not. I might as well just. Well, this is. Yeah, I, I know there's, a, there's not any advantage to getting uh, super close, but you should be all right one square forward. Yeah, I'm gonna move or... in and try and uh, give him, give you a little bit of coverage. Yeah. Okay. All right. Let's have a look at his uh, his turn. Spawn G Imagio. Face so we're both going to one of those tokens. On the profile card of each character on the same tile as a G-Mutant. That is you and me. Okay, so effectively what these things are is that means if we now draw a card with the bug icon, then we're just going to take one damage. Can't avoid it. The little goober's going to buy us, and then we sort of throw them off into the uh, away from us. Okay, so I think uh, let's use the bow gun in which case. So I'll attack with the bow gun. Okay, click down to one. Yep, and then uh, if you can roll those dice and see what we can do. And we're looking for, uh, well, we're actually looking for double hits, aren't we? Hmm. Not doing too well there, mate. Um, just it's one much... push, unfortunately. It's not going to do anything. Uh, it's okay, I mean, the bow gun's not ideal for this. Let's do it once more, just use up the ammo, basically. Okay, so bow gun's empty. Uh, you do have some bolts. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Uh, which is, is that three hits? Three hits. Okay, Claire is like all or nothing kind of girl, apparently. Well, that'll be uh, a whole bunch of healthy damage. Yeah. Uh, might as well reload the bow gun while I'm here. Okay, bow gun bullet's gone. Um, that goes up to full, doesn't it? Yeah, that's the reason why I thought I'd use it. Lovely. Uh, and then I'll just use my handgun for the rest. I might as well do three bullets. I haven't got quite the same awesome handgun as you, but I can still do something with it. Yeah. I'm trying to save that grenade launcher if I can. So three bullets with the handgun. Oh my goodness, you are hot or you're cold. Yep. Okay. No worries. Cool. Let's see what he does. All right. Um, lurches forward. Uh, okay. This is the bit where perhaps it isn't great that you're there. Yeah. Uh, so it's going to move once uh, using this D-pad, uh, and then it will hit everybody. You know, hit the closest character in range one, which is going to be you. Yeah. Uh, you need to make a medium evade, and if you don't make it, then you're going to take two damage. Medium. Or better evade. I do not make a medium or better. So you're going to take two damage, two damagios. Okay. okay. Sweet. 
Right, t- time for us to get serious now, I think. Uh, yeah, okay. Um, Remember that we're going to put up the damage, we're going to put up our ammunition by a couple of points on each one of these weapons at the end of the scenario anyway. Yeah, I'm so, going uh, to drop a magnum into him, I think. Oh, uh, waiting for this one. So, one red bullet. Uh, anything, First time we've seen the red dice. Anything is a hit equals three damage. No! Oh, <laughs> the hand cannon is too powerful for me. Uh, I'm going to shoot it again. And you're displaying your rookie status. Yeah, three damage. Um, I mean, I might as well do it again, right? Well, you could use a submachine gun. Because uh, everyone's rolling a lot of dice. Yeah, I feel like... Yeah, okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use a submachine gun for one. So that's... Um, it's a lot of dice. Gonna look like this. Oh mate, that doesn't Probably do the, the combination. Uh, to is it not supposed to be? Dice, uh, yeah, Miss Yeah, but that, well, that one extra blue dice will change everything. Changes nothing. Uh, so three. <laughs> uh, I'm, I, oh, oh, do I? Um... You could back off so it can't hit you again, or you could risk it and do another magnum shot direct point blank range. Yeah, I'm gonna do another magnum shot. Okay. Yeah. So he's down to 10 health now. Okay, this is good. All right. Let's see what happens. He is going to do a oh, monstrous sweep. <laughs> okay. Okay, so I need a strong evade or... Um... Uh, this, yeah, this will hit everybody in range one. Unfortunately enough, it, well, fortunately enough, it's only you. Uh, you need a big evade, though, for this one. Okay. Otherwise, I'm going to be running up to you and using my first aid spray, I think. Might be. I do not get a strong evade. Okay, you're going to drop down to two... Uh, sorry, drop down by two even. Yeah, first aid spray is required, I think. Okay, cool. Uh, well, I can use it if you're in adjacent squares. So that's exactly what's going to happen. Yeah. Uh, so take my one away, and then you're going to go up three levels. Okay. Uh, one, two, three. Lovely. And then I'm going to use the grenade launcher for two. Okay. Uh, you can roll. Oh, sorry. Um... Three dice, grenade launcher. Oh my god! <laughs> is that Yahtzee though? I mean, literally, I've got that one of every. The... I've got one of every type. A... Yeah, that's amazing. <laughs> okay, uh, I'm just going to bowgun it twice. Then, in which case, I'm still on the conserving ammo part of this at the moment. Okay, bowgun for five. Yeah, left. And then another one oh come on! Two hits. Uh, uh, is it two double hits? Two double hits. Yes, done two damage then. Yeah, down to eight. And then I'll use the bowgun again. Who knew the bowgun was the uh, is the answer we needed? Bowgun is the hero we've been looking for. Um, no, nothing. It was the it was the hero. Yeah. Cool. Right. Let's see what happens then. Okay. Oh, more more imagios. Uh, yeah, this is bad. So we'll both get those. Okay. Uh, uh, and that also you. means that we. Quite likely to get the uh, they're going to do some damage result. Yeah, because we've sort of gone through those other ones. So sooner we can finish this guy off, the better. All right, he's on eight health. I'm going to uh, I'm going to magnum. Yep. And for three damage, puts him down now to five. five magnum again. Last bullet in the chamber. Uh, oh, that's the penultimate one. Uh, in the box, please. Yes. He's down to two, two. Yep. and uh, I might as well fire the last magnum into him. Keeps making me think of chocolate ice creams. <gasps> Done it! Okay. That is one dead boss. So, point, point blank, three magnum bullets. Seems quite extravagant, but yeah, that magnum does some juice when it's going, doesn't it? Yeah, so basically what happens now is uh, we haven't got much by, much by way of magnum for the next uh, the next scenario. Now that will feel really good uh, in the next scenario. It won't be too much of an issue if I go or if I go with the alligator, which is probably the right route. But um, at the same time, when we get as far as Birkin, the one following, you may wish you hadn't done that. Uh, but yeah, that's that's a that's a future map problem, right? That's a future problem. Yeah, we'll we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Uh, cool. We need to try and find some magnum uh, ammunition. I I turn around and say to uh, to Claire. <laughs> <laughs> And she just literally is throwing casually, throwing these like goobers that are hanging off of her into like the uh, sludge. Yeah, that's a good point. Uh, we can kind of the flick them off. Let's see what would have happened. Oh no, we would have had another turn. 
Um, uh, yeah, well, you would have taken some more damage, but I'd then taken that a would bit more damage there and a bit more damage there, and then yeah, yeah it would have popped yeah. him with the acidic bile at the end. So yeah, like you say, gene mutants there to teach you how how bosses work. Um, yeah, it's really something where if you don't if you don't finish him off quickly, it starts to become a problem because those tokens are starting to build up, and that's just auto damage. So you really want to finish him off as quickly as possible. Yeah, because um, that doesn't actually uh, proc them off, does it? That you, they still no. stay on. So that's yeah. just those uh, little things biting into you. Yeah. Yeah, I think uh, I think you can underestimate him and uh, and get caught caught short. Um, mm. So yeah, good. Okay. Well, look. Slightly short bit of gameplay, but it was good to catch up. I'm pleased that the um, uh, that the stream seems to be working and uh, and, and is all fine. So we uh, have a quick look at some of the uh, some of the comments and see where we got to. So a quick look. Uh... People carrying it over. Reload full message. People discussing uh, how some of the bits and pieces. Yeah. Yeah. No, it seems um, seems pretty straightforward. Um, good to know you're looking forward to RE three, Jason. Thanks for backing us. Um, yeah. I think most people are pretty much veterans of this. They know. They know how it goes. So. Yeah. Same time next week, and we're going to be taking on this guy. Hmm. The uh, the terrifying alligator that's probably going to eat us both. Well, it's okay because I've got a magnum. Oh wait. Yeah, no. It's, to be fair, the alligator you can't actually kill with conventional we conventional weapons. My suggestion would be I'll go in the garbage dump and run away from him, and then uh, you can do the stuff up the top where you're trying to uh, help me escape. Okay. Because we get to discuss. That's ridiculous. Yeah, we get. <laughs> yeah. We... What, we get um, to... Which map have we got to do? Doing. Uh, uh, it's, it's in the um. So oh, yeah. it's going to be in the alligator book. Oh, yeah. I see. You've got it. Uh, that one there, I think it's five A plus. Yep, five A plus. Okay. So, so yeah, I'll be in the garbage dump, the little donut, and then you'll be running around in the other bit, trying to find the uh, the key to unlock the path. Okay. Brilliant. All right, excellent. Well, I'm glad that worked, and I'm sorry that um, it took a couple of weeks to do it, but unfortunately, with um, with COVID going on, uh, webcams and and streaming equipment all seems to be uh, in high demand and and almost permanently out of stock. So. Uh, but we got there in the end. Um, I think we're we're back in business, so we can uh, uh, we can we can get back on, finish this game. Yeah, and see how long we last. <laughs> it's so pessimistic. Yeah, uh, I, I, to be fair, I'm fairly I'm fairly confident. It's if we try the B files afterwards, and bearing in mind that might be a bit of a coup because I know Jamie and Gaz haven't sat down to play the B files. Right. But that's when hard mode really gets engaged. Okay. All right. So. That could be kind of entertaining. Well, hopefully by then the uh, the lockdown will have eased and we'll be able to play all face to face. Yeah, that'd be cool. Mm. Uh, quick question: When does Pledge Manager open up? Uh, that's a really good question. Uh, I'm not 100 percent sure. I th I think it's going to be a couple of weeks yet. I know that um, I know that we like to, we like to give it a little bit of time uh, for everybody to kind of have, excuse me, sort of uh, after recover from the excitement of the project and everything else. Yeah. Um, for the most part, it's just sorting out the costing of like the extra hunter monster box and that sort of stuff. But um, it should be fairly, it should be fairly imminent. It shouldn't be too long. It shouldn't be too long. I think part of the exercise is now we have final numbers. It makes us a lot. Of, um, it's it's prudent for us to make sure that we've got the costings all right and everything like that. So uh, it'll be a week or two for us just to get some final conversations done with our suppliers and and go from there. Yeah. Good. All right. Well, I'm going to uh, I'm going to hit pause, and um, it's going to be paused for for seven days minus half an hour or so. How how long we've been going? Um, mm. And we'll we'll reconvene with the alligator fight next week. Awesome. Thanks very much, guys. Cheers, chaps, and ladies. Bye. <laughs> See you later.